So I got to play the game Mullet Magic early, and this is my review of it. Now, since I haven't really done a review before, I'm not going to do a blank out of 10, but I'm just going to give you a few words to tell you how much I like it. And yes, I'll just spoil it. I don't care. I like this game. I think it's really good. I really like this game, in fact. So Mullet Magic is a first-person shooter set in an anime-style world where you are a vigilante named Jack, and you're trying to rescue the world's most popular influencer. For each floor, you have a set amount of time to make it to the exit of each floor, and you get to choose an upgrade at the end of each floor. And at the end of every 10th floor, there's a boss fight. Now, everything I said you could already know just from watching the trailers and stuff like that, so let me get into my actual experience with this game personally. So if I had to give this game one word, it would be fast. But if I had to give it another, it would be fun. So I like to call this game Fast Fun. And obviously, you can see stuff like the pace just by looking at the screen or the trailers and stuff like that. But it really is a huge part of the game, so that's why I have to talk about it. I mean, the game is just super fast paced and it is just you have to be on your toes at all time you know and to be honest i'm not even a super big first person shooter guy i don't really like a lot of games like call of duty that much but these are the type of games that i like games that have a genre that i don't like that much but they're so unique and different that it does stand out and that's why i really like it one game that i always talk about in terms of this is elden ring it made me along with so many other people like souls games even though we Basically, I had no interest in them before because it was so different and it stood out. It was an open world Souls game. A game where we could do what we want, even though it was still super difficult. And it gave that open world aspect, which I really like, because my favorite game ever is Skyrim. So, you can get that, right? Now, if you like games like Hades and Hotline Miami, I think this is definitely a game that you'll also like. Now, in terms of accessibility, because I know that that's something people talk a lot about these days, this definitely does have a lot of that. You can set the timer for 15 seconds, 10 seconds, or no seconds at all. Now I know that that's not how the game's intended, zero seconds, but sometimes it's just fun to take a look around because I think, I think the graphics are great for what this game is. The game is visually pleasing and it's fun to play, obviously, and to look around at, and to be in that world. The power-ups and weapons are super fun, for example, flaming katanas, shotguns, and also perks that will help you throughout the game. Now I know that a lot of people that are Gen Z have issues with attention span, and I include myself in that as well because of the internet and social media, but this game is one of those games that you put in the corner to keep people's attention spans that you see in those TikToks because it's, you know, you have to, it doesn't matter what your attention span is, you have to know what you're doing at all times or you're going to die. And it's so fast and it's so flashy that you're not going to ever have any issues with paying attention. Or even, even when I, you know, put the game down, I don't put it down because I'm bored. It's just because, you know, okay, now I want to do something else or work on a video or I have to go to school or something like that, you know. And also, I know that this doesn't matter to most people, but shout out to these devs for giving an option to make the blood purple for YouTubers so that the video doesn't get flagged. Thank you. And yeah, I'm not sugarcoating. I'm not overreacting. I really do like this game and I'm not showing anything late in the game because I don't want to... You know, spoil anybody just showing early gameplay but go check it out it's out now on steam it's not super expensive and it's a really fun game thank you